losing John Lennon, especially for you, you know, I, I guess until I read your book, I didn't even realize how close you guys were. And he asked you to play on whatever gets you through the night, right? He wanted to do yes, a session was. with you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you play on that. And you said to him, I'll play on that. But if this thing goes to number one, which I believe it will, I want you to come and do a live concert with me. It, yeah, but that was the bribe. I mean, I sang, I did sang on it and I played on it. And then I said, listen, if this gets to number one, he said, no, no, it's not going to get to number one. And of course, ultimately it did. And so he he agreed to come on stage at Thanksgiving 1974 and play with us at Madison Square Garden. And it was probably the greatest night of my professional career because I remember how the audience reacted because he hadn't been on stage in New York since Shea Stadium. He hadn't done a show uh, up to that point except the Peace Concert in Toronto with Yoko. And he was physically sick before he came on because he was so nervous. Mm. Um, Yoko came to the show before and gave him a gardenia, which he wore. And, you know, it just was like the stars were aligned and he came on stage and it was wonderful. We played, uh, I saw her standing there, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds and whatever gets used as the night. And we all cried when he came on. He came on to the greatest reception, the loudest roar I've ever heard in Madison Square Garden. I've been there a lot. This is John Lennon. <laughs> it was phenomenal. And I think it really touched him because it showed him how much New Yorkers loved him. And, you know, you get that on the street. Hi, John, how are you going? But when you get in front of an audience of 20,000 people making that noise and the, the affirmation that we love you, John, you're a New Yorker, wow, it was pretty amazing. He was a friend for two years that we knew each other and hung out with each other until he, you know, got back together with Yoko and had Sean. And I didn't mind that. Uh, it was wonderful. And then, of course, the tragedy happened and I never really, never really told him how much I loved him. You don't, do you? People go and you think, I wish I could have said something before he went, but you never know. In those circumstances, the way he died, you, you can't do that. 